You always were a lying, cheating bastard. Uh, how much lower do you plan on sinking, hmm? I don't know yet. Let me know when I get to your floor. How did you get those proxies? Blackmail? Or did you have your goon squad rough up a few people? Oh, come on, what century are you living in? There are people behind those names, Bard. I know almost every single one of them. They'd rather sell short than back up somebody like you. Oh, like they backed you in 78 when C.C. Capwell raided Tetracom and put two or three hundred widows and orphans out on the street? That's a lot of crap, and you know it, and so do my investors. Then why did it take so little persuasion to make them see the error of their ways? People are hungry for leadership, Capwell. You may have been able to provide it uh, once upon a time, but when you got old and tired and complacent... Did I mention old? Uh, you are really right, Robbie. See, I was working on companies a long time ago while you were still messing your pants. And there were others like you, just as grasping, just as naive, just as bloody arrogant. And they're not around anymore. Mm, because the fearless C.C. Capwell chewed them up and spit them out. You could put it that way, yeah. Of course, me, you would have to gum to death since there's no bite in that bark anymore. <laughs> and there's nobody left in your company to do it for you. You think your puny little grandstanding scares me? You make fun of my age? You send Gina over, wobbling brainlessly on high spike his waving autographs in my face? What is that? Is that supposed to constitute a threat? Well, if it's not a threat, then why are you here? Because I'm not a coward like you. I'll tell you what I think right to your face. You know something? You're out of your league, boy. You really are. I'm no stranger to dirty tricks. Have you just pressed my button? You pressed it, sonny boy. Better get your best shot. It's your last one. 